Two. Yes, well, it's finished. Oxford United won Sunderland three. Cheshire cat time. <laughs> Absolutely buzzing with the result. Buzzing with the three points. Performance was very abject, very poor performance. Not a good performance at all, to be honest. But somehow we managed to get them coals out of the fire. Somehow we managed, we managed to win. I never knew, I never thought in a million years we were going to get that winter day. We had the winter day. We must have won the day. It was an imperative that we take the three points today. And we've done it. We've done it somehow. The gods have shined down on us and we got three points. Absolutely fantastic. The formation of the day was changed again. Do I agree with Alex Neil changing the formation every single game? No, I don't. I thought the players, a lot of the players were really underperforming the day massively. And we'll start with the team. Patterson again was absolutely fantastic in goal. Made two world-class saves. One Jim, Jimmy Montgomery-esque save, Patterson. Straight away, before we continue with the game, Patterson, 10 out of 10, man of the match, straight away. No pissing about, he's man of the match. He had a goal in, but that wasn't his fault, that was the defence's fault. Winchester, right, Sirkin, Gooch, Clark, Evans Matete, Roberts, Stewart and Broadhead. Now, performances today on the park. Gooch. Poor. Very poor. Sergeant. Poor. Very poor. Matete. Poor. Very poor. Roberts. Awful. Roberts was awful. Clark was absolutely awful as well. So when you've got one, two, three, four, five players playing really bad, you kind of don't expect to win a game of football. But we did score the first goal. It came from a, a Clark free click, kick. Clark was fouled at the edge of the penalty box, took a free kick, poor. Poor is free kicks as you want to see. It just pussied the ball under the, tried to get the ball under the, under the wall, it was cleared. Matete, piss poor free, piss poor shot outside the penalty box. Cleared, fell to Evans, who poked the ball home. So well done, Evans. Evans today played quite well. I thought Evans was good. Again, solid in the midfield, Evans. Then Oxford equalised just before half time. In swing and corner, when you've got a player, a six foot five there, captain, I don't know, the and I don't know what, what, what size he is, but he was massive. Their captain for Oxford was massive. And he, he's trying to defend the certain, certain five foot two. There's only one winner. Bad organisation. Ball goes in. You know, I kind of blame Patterson for the goal. One's a piece. Second half, we weren't very good. We give the ball away time and time again. In the first half, Roberts. Roberts is infuriating. Roberts gets the ball and he wants to play. He wants to showboat. He keeps getting the ball and he's right. Flicking the ball onto his left, it gives the ball away. It was shocking today. Roberts was shocking. Absolutely awful. Clark keeps getting the ball forward, passing to the invisible man. Keeps passing the ball straight to Oxford. He was awful again. I said before, Gooch, just lumping the ball forward. It's just like. I don't even know how we scored. How did we even score today? Of course, Alex Neal ringing the changes, bringing on Elliot Embleton. He brought on Elliot Embleton. And again, me, me mind's fuzzy, I'm clouded over. Lots of passing. I don't even know who was the assist. Who was the assist? Was it Stewart? Stewart to Embleton. Embleton right hand side, cutting inside and drills the ball under under their keeper. I kind of believe it. I kind of, I kind of believe we won. I cannot believe we won today. Honest, I cannot. Did we deserve to win? No. No. As much as you can say we beat Oxford away from home, did we deserve did we actually deserve to win the day? Over the 90 minutes performance, I thought there was only one team going to win, and that was Oxford United. I thought they were the better side. I thought they passed the ball better. I thought they had the better chances. But we won. 
and 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 I cannot I cannot emphasize how happy I am. I can't. We won. We got three points when it was a must win game. For somehow the look of the gods were on Alex Neal's side. And I've got to salute Alex Neal. For the same half as he, he made the, the mistakes in, in selecting the team in the first place. He, he, two wrongs don't make a right. But that's why he made a wrong into a right. And he got it right. And we got the goal with Elliot Embleton. Elliot Embleton got the goal. It was his birthday last week. Sheffield Wednesday had a goal in late on towards Bolton. So it was Bolton 1, Sheffield Wednesday 1. Gillingham scored late on. Gillingham 1, Wickham 1. And we go above Wickham on points. Sunderland are now four points above Oxford. And now the table goes down to the top seven. And we're on level points with Sheffield Wednesday. Only behind them on goal difference. And we jump above Wickham with a game in hand over Wickham. It is in our hands. It's in our hands now. In our hands. For me, we have to make the playoffs now. We cannot screw this up. I am absolutely buzzing with that winter day. I'm combozzled, combaffled. How on earth we actually won that game. Don't know how we won the game, but we did. And I'll take it. I will take it all day long. Man of the match, Patterson, for two absolutely world-class saves. The second one. The ball was actually behind him and it was going in the goal and he managed to drag it out on the right-hand side. Jimmy Montgomery save all day. Fantastic from Patterson. Patterson, well done. So there we go. We're getting a win against Oxford. We beat Oxford 2-1. And we're back in the playoffs. Back in the playoffs. Happy days. I hope you enjoyed me little match review. You know, it's a bit after the Lord Mayor show, but I'm over the moon. And it is now in our hands. We've got to do this now. We've got to make the playoffs. If we make the playoffs, we will get promoted. I'm telling you now, I'm telling you now, if we make the playoffs, I feel confident we can get promoted. Thanks for watching the video. Take care. God bless me. God go wish you. And please, please subscribe to the channel if you are new. Much appreciated. Thanks for watching the live stream today also. You make the channel, not me, not me. I'm just some... I still can't believe we won. Thank you. Take care.